Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am currently 12 weeks postpartum and decided it was time for me to start making my health a priority. I really wanna get back into working out and making healthier choices when it comes to my diet. And if you've been here a while, you know how big this is for me, but I'm trying and I really encourage you girls out there to get up and try with me. I was scrolling through some motivational quotes on Pinterest last night and this one stuck out to me the most. If you're tired, do it tired. It's so easy to make excuses and not show up for yourself, especially when you're in the thick of motherhood and the sleepless nights. I am right there with you, but I really encourage you to make yourself a priority because at the end of the day, you can't pour from an empty cup. And if you're needing the motivation to start, I hope this video can encourage you to take that step. I got a lot of really great feedback from you guys over on Instagram with fitness app recommendations, but until I start doing some research on them to figure out which one is gonna work best for my lifestyle, I decided to ease into my first workout with a really simple postnatal exercise on YouTube. I'll link the exact one I did below in case you guys wanna do this with me, but it was the perfect first workout to get my body moving and my heart rate up. Adam and I decided to start cell reducing after doing a lot of research on all of the benefits. And I know some people say there's zero benefits when it comes to cell reducing. And there's also a lot of people that swear by it. I have yet to try it and try it consistently. So I will keep you guys updated on how I feel and if I start to notice any significant changes.
So this thing is really easy to clean too. So that's where it juices into. And then you have this big piece. And then this piece comes off and you just clean in there. So yeah, really easy to clean. And you guys saw it juices in like seconds. So I am clearly on a new fitness kick. And I wanted to document the journey on YouTube in case any of you guys need motivation or inspiration to jump into it and just do it. Because if you guys have been following for a while here on my channel, you know that I eat whatever I want. I don't eat the best. I eat out for almost every meal. Um, and it's usually crap. <laughs> and I don't work out. So I am 12 weeks postpartum and I am ready to start making my health and fitness a priority. Um, the only time I ever really was consistent with working out was after I had Grayson. I went to Body Pump at 24 Hour Fitness with Vanessa, if you guys remember those vlogs. Um, and I was pretty consistent. We both went a few times a week and I can't remember how long we did it for. It was for a few months and I felt so good. I felt physically really great and I wanna get back to that point. So yeah, I'm 12 weeks postpartum. I am 5'8 and 161 pounds currently. And so I am gonna start working out. My goal is three times a week and I'm gonna start eating healthier. And as you guys saw, Adam and I are gonna start celery juicing every morning. We got two big things of celery and we used like 95% of it this morning. So clearly you go through a lot of celery. I had no idea, but um, yeah. So I need to get some more celery and then I also want to get some salmon for dinner tonight. I personally love salmon um, and Adam does too and so do the kids. So. We're gonna have salmon for dinner tonight. I found a really easy recipe on Pinterest, so I'll show you guys um, that recipe later on tonight once I cook that. You guys know I hate cooking. Like, I hate cooking so much. I just do not have the patience for it, and whenever I'm hungry and wanna eat, I just, like, the last thing I wanna do is cook something. I just wanna eat something. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna try because I feel like that's all you can do. I'm gonna start small. This recipe is so easy. Um, so I'm gonna go over to Trader Joe's to get some salmon and some veggies and a few other things I need for the recipe and I'll show you guys everything once I get back home. This is what Adam and I had for breakfast this morning from Chop Shop. It has eggs over easy with sweet potato hash, smashed avocado, corn, onion, roasted red pepper, spinach, and a whole wheat or gluten-free wrap on the side. I didn't end up using the wrap. Um, I just had like the bowl and it was probably one of the best breakfasts I've ever had. It was so good. Um, it's from Chop Shop. I don't know if you guys have a Chop Shop near you, but highly recommend this. It was so delicious. I ordered meal prep containers on Amazon like two days ago, so they're getting delivered tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna be meal prepping for breakfast and either lunch or dinner. Um, for the next week. So if you guys want me to film a video on the things that we're gonna be meal prepping, um, let me know. They're really, really simple recipes, but I know that if I don't meal prep, I'll just be obligated to buy something when I'm out and about running errands or to and from the warehouse or whatever. It's just, I don't know. I always go through like a drive through or I'll door dash something. Um, so if I don't have meals already prepped and ready to go for me in the fridge, then I'm just so much more tempted to eat out so I ordered these meal prep containers I'll link them below um, they're 
pretty inexpensive and I ordered just like different colors for Adam and I since he'll have like bigger portions and I'll share all this in a video if you guys want me to film a more in-depth video on how I'm gonna meal prep for us but yeah um, that's the reason why I door dashed this morning but I'm gonna really try and make a bigger effort to cook more meals at home because I can I don't enjoy it but I can do it and I'm gonna try and make it a priority. My legs, you guys, are already sore from that workout last night. <laughs> but I decided to come to Costco to get salmon and veggies in bulk. So we'll see what we can find. My car needs a car wash so bad. But it's supposed to rain here all week. This is everything I got, so I'm gonna bring it inside and I'll show you guys a little haul. Okay, so here's everything that I got from Costco today. So I got this salmon, I decided to go with fresh and then we'll just slice it up as we go. And then some cherry tomatoes, some mixed squash. So I'm gonna cut these up, cut the tomatoes up, and then the asparagus as well. And then we're just gonna bake it in the oven. And then I got a bunch of celery sticks. These are pre-washed, they're triple washed from Costco, which is really nice and convenient. Because last night I had to wash them all, which is fine, but I just realized Costco has them pre-washed for you. Um, I got some turkey, hi baby. That says, where's that from? Is that from the American Girl doll? Yeah. Oh, that's the placemat. I got some keto no, sea salt caramel say? bars. No, what does it It says placemat. Um, I'm not keto, obviously, but these I have no sugar in them. Don't rip it, honey. And then um, Brooklyn recommended this from Costco. It's the Kirkland <laughs> Prosecco brand. And I got some edamame. You like edamame, honey? Yeah, for a little no. snack. And then this is the protein I got, and then the collagen. So I'll probably just I mix both of these too. together for I my protein both shakes. Of these. You like both of those? Yeah, because this one has Okay, so I'm gonna start with dinner. So I'll link the recipe that I'm using below, but it's basically salmon and veggies, and you put it in foil, and then you bake it in the oven. So I have the oven preheating right now to 350. Um, I'm gonna cut up my salmon into individual fillets. And then I already washed my produce, so I have my squash, some lemon, and then I have the cherry tomatoes and the asparagus that I just rinsed off in the sink. So I'm gonna prep the produce and then cut the salmon and then I'll um, make the little marinade that you're supposed to layer on top of everything. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you think and I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smokers in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you were saying, oh no I don't see the logic of things it's quite a lonely world that we're living in Oh baby, you are something special, I'm sure Everything makes total sense when you're next to me Next 
Okay, so I cut up the salmon into individual fillets and then I placed it on a piece of foil and then I placed all of the vegetables on top and now I'm about to make, I don't know what you call this, like a little marinade using olive oil, parsley. Obviously fresh parsley is probably a lot better but Costco didn't have parsley so I'm just using parsley flakes. Salt, pepper, and minced garlic and then just mix it all together and then I'm gonna drizzle it on top and then put a piece of lemon on top and then also squeeze some as well to just give it some more flavor. Okay, they're all wrapped up and ready to bake in the oven. I'm gonna bake them at 350 for like 15 or 20 minutes. Just took them out of the oven. I did about 20 minutes and it looks perfect. These look so good, yum. Just finished up dinner. It was really, really good and so easy to make. So I will have the recipe linked below if you guys wanna try it. And then I had that keto bar that I got from Costco, that ice cream bar, and that was really, really good too. Totally satisfied my sugar craving that I have multiple times a day. I ate pretty healthy today though and had a lot of water. My water intake was pretty good today. Um, I just got dressed in my workout attire i have a strength and hit workout class that i signed up for on an app i'm trying out a bunch of different apps like i said and then i will let you guys know which one i end up going with um so i have a class at 9 it's 8 40 right now so i have about 20 minutes until that starts um, i'm drinking my zing this is from young living i have so many of these in our pantry and so um i'm using it as my pre-workout because we don't have any pre-workout in the house right now I asked you guys on Instagram what your favorite pre-workout was, and a lot of you guys said Alani knew, and I have used their pre-workout in the past. Vanessa used to use it when we used to do body pump, and she let me try it a few times, and it's actually really good, so I'm gonna start using that again. But I'm gonna try Zing since I have this on hand. It's basically like a natural energy boost. It has uh, wolfberry in it, which is what Ningxia is made of, that red juice that we all drink. Um, so it has wolfberry and then what was the other thing? White tea extract. Um, it doesn't have any preservatives, sweeteners, or artificial flavors. So it's just a really good, like clean, natural energy boost. So I'm gonna drink this and then head into the gym to do my workout. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some motivation to get up and start moving, start making healthier choices in your lifestyle because I have so many excuses that I can make. We're in the middle of moving. Um, I'm in the newborn phase still. Tatum is up multiple times at night. Um, I have a vlog to edit. I mean, I could come up with so many different excuses, but I'm making this a priority because I need to. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you wanna see more content like this, let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video.